Hello there, I hope you enjoyed the previous quest. Uh, today in this one, I'm going to show you how to uh, manipulate uh, HTML DOM elements with JS. So let's take back our file from yesterday. In the video, I showed you how to uh, set up an HTML page and link it a CSS file and a JS script. So today we're going to focus on the JS script. I want to show you four things. So the first one that I want to show you is how to target an existing element, which is in your HTML file uh, in the JS. So to do so, we're going to declare a new variable to store our existing element inside. So let's call it my D, for example. Then you have to use the object document and from it call the method query selector. It's one of the methods that you can use to target an element. There is a uh, other ones that exist like get element by ID, get element by tag name. There is a bunch of stuff that we actually are going to show you in the, so, some of them in the quest. Uh, but for today, let's just take that one. So query selector, uh, you pass it an argument, which is the CSS selector. So us for now, we just have a div there on our page. So let's target the div. It's going to return the first one that it finds on the page. Uh, so this is basically the way just how to get that element. So now, now we're going to log it to make sure that uh, that code works. So if I reload my page and I go to the console outputs, you can see that indeed the element is there. So it worked. Uh, let's remove that log. So after I'm going to, I want to show you how to change its style to that element. So now you can use uh, that variable that uh, we stored here and to change this style, you just do dot style and then uh, you target the property, the CSS property that you want to change. So let's say we want to change the color and uh, make it uh, pink, for example. Uh, let's see now, you see. I reload, now it's pink and you can add other uh, properties, any, any one that you want. So let's try with a green background color like this, it's going to be better. I reload, there is a green background color. So that's it to set the style of an element. Now let's try to create a new element from scratch. So an element which is not appearing in your HTML file. And that we're gonna we're gonna create uh, from the JS completely. So let's put it in a in a variable. So my new div, for example. Uh, you use again the document object and the method that time is create element. You give it as an argument the uh, HTML tag that you want uh, to have. Like if you want to have a div, you put div. If you want to have a section, you put a section. Let's write a section. Um, so we basically created it. Uh, let's set a bit of style so you, we can see something on the screen and it's not empty. So let's put a width, 100 pixel, a height, and uh, let's put also a background color, cyan. Uh, so now the, the element has been created uh, by the JS, but now what you have to do is to add it in the documents. It's not automatic, so it's called to append it to the page. So to append it, you have to target the parent element you want it to appear in. So we're going to target the body. So we're going to do the same, we use the query selector, put the body tag, so we get our body. And then we're going to say that we want to append the new div inside the body. So let's check now, it should work. I reload and you can see that a new element has been uh, added into the HTML, but only from the JS. If you go back to check your HTML file, you cannot see any section there. It's only created from my script. So that's it for today. I hope this is going to help you to achieve that quest and uh, yeah, good luck.